Hello and welcome to this tax calc video where we'll see how to declare foreign dividend income on an individual tax return. First, let's open an SA100 tax return. We'll navigate to the foreign income section which can be found under other income, foreign income. On this page, you'll need to select the types of foreign income relevant to your return. For this demonstration, all of the boxes are pre-selected. Clicking on Foreign Dividends in the left-hand menu leads directly to the input screen. In this section, we need to declare all foreign dividends that are taxable in the UK. You will need to enter the three character country code, which can be manually typed in if you know it, or selected by clicking on the icon here. A pop-up window appears where you can scroll to locate the country or search for the country here. Then enter the company name. Next, we need to enter the applicable values. If you have any special withholdings tax to declare, which is in addition to any foreign tax deducted, please input that here too. In this example, it isn't applicable, so we'll leave this as blank. As you can see, the FTCR box, which stands for Foreign Tax Credit Relief, is already ticked and the maximum percentage of FTCR allowed under the double taxation agreement has already been applied at 15%. The DTAs apply generally to types of income, but if you believe there is a specific rate for the income you have entered, these amounts can be overridden. You can add further entries for further countries by clicking on the Add button here. If you had any income that could not be brought into the UK due to exchange controls, then these would need to be declared under unremittable income. These boxes are similar to the ones above, except from the reference to FTCR. In each instance where FTCR is claimed, you'll receive an FTCR worksheet within the summary section of TaxCalc. This summary worksheet takes each item of foreign income entered and calculates the amount of UK tax applicable to that item. The UK tax due on the item is then shown in box TC144. TC145 then shows the foreign tax paid. The lower of these two boxes is then input into box TC146 and is included in the total claimable FTCR on the return. HMRC recognises that sometimes the worksheet doesn't provide for the most beneficial calculation of FTCR due to its inability to account for beneficial ordering of the personal allowance. If you believe this is the case in your return, you have the option to override the total allowable FTCR. To do this, you'll need to go back to the data entry section of the return and locate the foreign income section again. On this screen, you will see the overall claim for all entries contained within your return. To override the value, tick the box and amend the value accordingly. That concludes this video for foreign dividend income. Thank you for watching.